This is a little more dangerous than I thought. <laughs> what time is it? Is it midnight? This is crazy. And it's what, Friday? It sucks. What? The McDonald's is closed. <clears throat> I just woke up and I have no idea what time it is. And my instinct was to grab my phone and immediately check what time it is. But I resisted that. And I've laid there for like 10 or 15 minutes just thinking, I have no idea what time it is right now. Um, and I started to think, what's the longest I can go without knowing what time it is? <laughs> So, I gingerly picked up my phone here. As you can see, I'm holding it in a very weird way. This way I can't see the top half of it, so I don't know what time it is. But, I mean, I could have been asleep for 30 minutes. I could have slept for six hours. I have no way of knowing. Um, I don't know what time uh, it is. I don't know what time it is. Leave a comment below not telling me what time it is because I don't know what time it is. I don't want to know what time it is. And I'm going to see how long I can figure out how to make it so I don't know what time it is. And you know what I always say, it's time to not know what time it is. I'll see you next time in about three seconds. The thing that's freaking me out the most right now is how many things are trying to tell me what time it is. My laptop wants to tell me what time it is. Steve Jobs Apple iPod. Big iPod tries to know what time it is. I can't even put these in. I might accidentally tap it, and then Siri will tell me what f***ing time it is. PlayStation to go? It's in a Switch. That'll definitely tell me what time it is. He might try to tell me what time it is if I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to keep my eyes peeled. Glad there's no cable box, because you know that thing would be screaming what time it is. I need some sort of special tape. I mean, Buffalo Wild Wings napkin might do the trick. Wait a f***. I gotta be very cautious. I'm, I'm approaching the. I'm approach. I might. It's, I still don't want anything to peek through, so I might need another sheet. There's a big clock up here. Can't, can't look at her. I'm gonna keep her face down. It's like defusing a bomb. Important update, I have realized that... Important update, I've realized that the camera screen on Apple iPhone does not tell you what time it is. See? I was, in my memory, it would tell you right there where the notch is about what time it was time to wake up. But no such screen, no risk of that. So. Luckily, we don't have to be as worried about accidentally finding out what time it is, which is really good. That's what I like to hear. Still trying to not find out what time it is. It's pretty hard, but it's no big whoop. The question is going to be, where am I going to go? What happens when I get out of my house? I can control whether or not I know what time it is in my house, but if I'm just trying to find out what time... Sorry, there we go. If I want to know what time it is... I don't want to, sorry, if I don't want to know what time it is in my house, that's easy. If I don't want to know what time it is outside of my house, well, then we got a problem. Outside my house, they're all trying to tell you what time it is. You walk into Walmart, we're gonna, the greeter might tell you what time it is. Your receipt could tell you what time it is. Even the car can tell you what time it is. It's going to be an uphill struggle, but I think I can figure out how to make sure that I don't know what time it is. I need two socks. There's one. In a perfect world, they'd be the same brand. Yeah, we got them. We got them. So I've come to I'm coming to some troubling conclusions here. It's been a while since I knew what time it was. If I look outside, dark. Now the problem with that is that it was dark when I went to bed. Here's the problem. I went to bed at 11 p.m. I think but I had only been awake for like nine hours. So when I slept tonight, which I did, I don't know if I was asleep for 30 minutes or six hours. I have no way of knowing. It's, it's black outside. I can't see anything. And I should have told you this way earlier. I mean, I could have been asleep for 
30 minutes? I could have slept for six hours. I have no way of knowing. I had a dream in the bed. So that's a good sign that I slept some amount of time. I entered an REM state, um, but where it gets messy is again, I don't know how much sleep my body needed having only been awake for a handful of hours the prior day. And so that's where it gets into some territory where you don't up is down and the right is up. And I can't figure out how to tell how to what, no, I don't want to know what time it is. So can't make me mad by not telling me what time it is if I don't want to know. That's your problem. It doesn't seem to tell me anywhere in this car what time it is. I don't know how that's possible. I think it would normally be right here, but because the, the check engine light is on, it's not gonna tell me what time it is, which is a minor Christmas miracle. I see other cars on the road. Now that's an interesting factor. That leads me to believe it could be as, as late as breakfast time around as 5.30 or as six. There's a car at the gas station. Oh, okay, no, that, sorry. I saw, it said 2.47 over there, but that was the price of gas, not the time. Is it, is it midnight or is it 6.30? I only know two things. I don't wanna know what time it is and Walmart's always open. So what are the obstacles I should keep my eyes peeled for in the Walmart? I think any sort of any sort of doorman or any sort of temptress who's going to try to give me the time, whether I like it or not, going to have to clog my ears up and jam them packed real tight with some sort of tissue paper so I don't hear that. Son of a bitch. This could go. In, this could break any of a million ways. Is this a 24-hour Walmart? All, all bets are essentially off at this point. All right, we should have gotten this guy service 2,000 miles ago, but that's whomst among us is. Okay, now this is a very empty parking lot. Like, like a lot of emptiness. Like, like I'm talking sparse. I'm talking done sparse. I'm talking no cars. I'm talking, is this a 24 hour Walmart even? Cause I'm starting to wonder based on the utter nudity of this park. Okay, here's some, here's some cars and trucks and things that go. Thank God it, there's no time readout on this thing. I'd be, I'd be fucked. I'd be capital F fucked if I could see what time it was on that thing. That man was looking at me funny. I bet he wants to fucking tell me what time it is. Somebody had a spill. That doesn't really give us any clues. But we don't want clues because the goal is to keep us keep ourselves in the dark. The milkman. Well, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. The milkman knows what's up. When does the milkman come? In the morning. So now it's starting to look like a little bit of an early AM situation. Maybe we could be as many as 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45 or 50 minutes away from sunrise. Hell yeah. Okay, no gaming at night. Yes, sir. Do you know what time this uh, reception opened? I can walk here. I'm looking for uh, uh, the game team. The game team, the game team. Nintendo Entertainment System. Nintendo Switch. I don't see any cube, any, any game. Okay. Alrighty, well thank you anyway. You're welcome. Have a good, Sorry. have a good night or morning. Yeah, whichever it is for me at this point. Right? Yeah, who can say? <laughs> who can say? Maybe I'll enjoy some cereal. After all, it is... <laughs> what time is it? This is completely f***ed up. You could look at this at a glance and you could be like, oh, it's a nice, fun collab between Frosted Flakes and Lucky Charms, right? Like at a glance, you could think, oh, that's cute. Look at this, look at this shit. Look at the font that they go for. It's a rounded, it's a sans serif rounded font. But what you're gonna find if you look closely here is that it's a bunch of bullshit. It's because see, this is made by General Mills who does not own Frosted Flakes. It's actually gonna be a Kellogg's brand product. product. And so the issue, that I have with that fundamentally is that they're taking advantage of the fact that you can't copyright the name Frosted Flakes. It's too simple. It's the reason why when you look at the store brand cereals of which Walmart, you know, Rice Krispies, because Rice Krispies, that's trademarkable. Krispies is a made up pretend word that they made up, but 
Frosted Flakes is the exception of the rule. You walk into any grocery store in America, you're going to find that they're able to sell their their home-made knockoff brand Frosted Flakes with the name Frosted Flakes. And to see a mega corporation like the there's a General Mill cereal take advantage of that, picking on poor Kellogg's over here. And it's horse shit, and I think that Lucky should go f himself, and that's all there is to it. He's a bitch, and I knock. I hit him. I hit him. I hit him. I hit him. Quick update on the situation I was so peeved off about before. I am happy to report that Kellogg's is unwilling to be the victim here. They have released a product called Fruit Loops Marshmallows, which really is their attempt to hit back against the shamelessness of Lucky Charms Frosted Flakes, taking their brand and just doing whatever they want with it. They realized that they could take the Lucky Charms Marshmallow formula and put that right into their Fruit Loops. Now, is that, does that sound good? Does that sound like an appealing appetizing product? No, but it's an important move because it symbolizes that General Mills can't fucking walk all over everyone in the cereal industry the way that they think that they can. They can't do that anymore. Those days are over. I don't know what time it is. I hate not knowing what time it is. This is crazy. This sucks. Good morning. Please print your receipt. No, 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 no. Please take your receipt. Oh my god. Is the sun gonna be up? What if I went to Bojangles? I'm going to Bojangles. Just want to make sure you guys can see that. It says right here what I am. Based on all the good mornings I heard from the staff at the Walmart, I'm starting to inch towards the conclusion that maybe it's morning, but the, but the, but there's just not a lick of light in the sky. None of it. CVS is closed. Now what does that tell us? Not much. Head to Bojangles for our holiday family variety feast. I'm You'll trying! And a half gallon of legendary iced tea. Bojangles, it's bow time. Bow time. Is it? Ah! It's from bow time! I just saw three cars go by on this little highway can mean anything that's the thing every clue i get every little hint that i get it doesn't actually contain any information you feel like it does but then you realize that it's all all data all data is subject to your personal biases seeing a car on the road could mean it's 2 a.m or 6 a.m having a walmart lady tell you it's morning or night who knows is really troubling because it just makes me more confused about what time it is I feel like I'm never, I know this sounds stupid. I feel like I'm never gonna know what time it is. What? What? 41 degrees outside, 51 chance, percent chance of rain. It's 2 30 in the morning. No, wait, wait. Is it 5 a.m. or 2 30 in the morning? I can't believe I made it this long without finding out what time it is. If it's five, if it's something past five, then, I mean, that's what I was feeling. The, the repeated references to the morning from the radio, from the Walmart employees, it was all pointing me in, in that direction. But it's so dark. It feels like the sun's not coming up for hours. It could have been 4 a.m. It could have been 3, 3.30. What a, what a, would they have said good morning to each other at 3.30? We're rolling up on BJ's. Okay, hours. Monday, 5.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. 
it's it's really the moment of truth here. Is it past 5:30 a.m.? The lights are on, but that could that just could mean there's employees on the bitch. Is it 5:30 a.m.? Yeah, it's 5:30. Yeah, kind of feel like no. CVS is closed. Now what does that tell us? The milkman. Now we're not cooking. I just saw three cars go by. Have a good, have a good night or morning. Yeah, whichever it is for me at this point. Right? <laughs> Who can say? Oh, sorry, what, what time is it now? Bojangles, bro. Bro Jangles. Take me to Bro Jangles. Oh my god. These are my beautiful bow rounds. Oh my god. The receipt says 5.45. So I guess, in that regard, this adventure wraps to a close. Thank God that I got here within just a few minutes of them opening and that it wasn't like 2 a.m. because I was already hurtling down the highway towards Bojangles. Thank you for joining me on this journey. It's been a real emotional and physical roller coaster and I'm happy to have shared it with you. If you enjoy this type of video, please let me know. Or even if you don't. I just, what I'm trying to do on this website, what I'm trying to do here on YouTube is I want to follow my gut. And strike while the iron's hot, man. That's that's the main thing. I was laying in bed. I spent 15 minutes a day dreaming about making a video about not knowing what f time it is. And that's the trick is just, as soon as you have an idea in life, do it and act on it and make that, make that content, make that video. Because I can't tell you how many video ideas I've had die on the vine because I gave myself too long to think about them and then overthought them. Because the more time you put between you and working on an idea you have, the more opportunities you're giving yourself, giving your shit brain to talk yourself out of it. For the 350 people who click on this video and make it all the way to the end, hopefully this advice reaches one of you and helps one of you. One more bite. One more bite before we hit the road. Mmm.